Hi everyone, how's everyone doing? So I just wanted to talk about this um, YouTube dating um, show called Pop the Balloon to, or Find Love. It's by Arlette. I can't remember her surname, but um, I've, I'm addicted to it. <laughs> I, just, so I just wanted to talk about it. So the concept is you have um, eight single women or eight single men. So depending on whether it's going to be the men or the women's turn. And you have one person, um, you have lots of women. So you have a line of eight men or women, all with balloons ready to pop. Um, and then you have a woman, uh, women, so someone of the opposite sex come in and deciding which man they want to be with. So the whole concept is that they ask certain questions. First of all, they pop the, every time they don't like someone or don't like what someone has said, the either the contestants holding the balloons can either pop their balloon to say they're not interested or the person choosing can pop the balloon and it's just, <laughs> you have to watch it. I've been addicted to it. I was watching it all yesterday. There's different um, dynamics because I've learned so much as well just watching it about just how picky men can be so sometimes men will say they're popping the balloon because this person shoes but then also women there's some women on there that are being really particular they're going on about things like height which you all know that like you know people will use height as a reason not to date someone but then they're talking about silly things like you know they got someone wearing no socks um how someone's dressed someone's haircut and I think when Arlette asked the question would this be someone that you would date normally and then they say no and then she goes brutal <laughs> she's a bit much because then she goes why what's the reason you wouldn't date this person and then they list off a reel of things I think in some episodes it can be really respectful people can just be having grown conversations in other other ones I think they go too far you know they start disrespecting the person insulting them and there's no need to do that there's people on the show you can tell are not used to rejection. There's people who are not used to communicating. There's people, there was one guy that was just taking ages to answer everything. They were asking him simple questions. What do you want in a woman? Uh, and it was just going on and on and on. And then what do you think about this woman? Uh, and then he ended up, all his balloons got popped and everyone was just saying to him, you're not saying anything, you're taking too long. And he had lots of interest, but he just wasn't. And it's a shame because I also think that in that environment where there's nerves and all the rest of it, you should really give people a bit more of a chance because lots of good men and good women are being um, not picked based on they're in that environment and they're nervous. I don't know if I would even... I was thinking last night, would I want to go on there and be picked? But then if someone didn't pick me and then they're rejecting me and then in front of everyone they're saying, oh, I don't like your shoes, I don't like this. There was one woman, they're saying, you're not moisturised enough. You know, I can see your legs and uh, dry and stuff. All the people are saying lips, people's lips are chapped and all sorts. I don't know if I'd want that. But then also if I'm picking and then what if everyone bursts their balloon before I get a chance to pick them? then you're going to feel rejected as well that no one wanted to keep their balloon um, nut pots for you. So it's interesting. Have you ever watched it? I'd recommend it. It's getting millions of views. It's really interesting. It's called Pop the Balloon or Find Love. And I know it's Arlette is her first name, the host, but I can't remember her surname. Let me know what you guys think. Would you go on a show like that? 